Winter is here and it is time to take a look at games on Game Pass. I've had my Xbox Series X for about two years and I've been playing some newer games on Game Pass. These, some of these that I'm gonna be showing you aren't necessarily totally mainstream, some are, but I thought I'd share with you 10 games that you may wanna check out on Game Pass. Game Pass is a monthly subscription service, starts out at $10 a month, you can get Game Pass Ultimate, which also includes EA Play. But you know, I've really enjoyed this service and it's made me check out some games I normally wouldn't. And so I know a lot of you might be getting an Xbox S or X for the holidays and I thought I would offer a video where you might wanna check out some of these Game Pass games. This is not gonna be showing the Minecrafts, the Gears of Wars, or the Halos that are already on Game Pass. These are some other games that you may wanna check out if you're looking for something a little different or some games, some semi-mainstream games that you didn't know were on in the service. So sit back, relax, here we go. I found this cool, unique platformer, Tinykin, on Game Pass and I really enjoyed it. I know it's on other platforms as many of these other games are, but if you have Game Pass, this is well worth a look. It involves you going around collecting aliens called Tinykin to help you move objects and navigate around these cleverly designed stages. The gameplay is fluid and I found myself really enjoying this one as it reminds me a little bit of a classic platformer mixed with a little bit of Pikmin. The people involved creating this formerly have worked on Rayman games as well as Rabbits games. The main story without going through the extras is about six hours to beat so this is totally doable over a weekend or if you have a busy schedule. Highly recommend it and well worth checking out on Game Pass. You can also purchase it for $24.99. This next indie game is fantastic and it's Vampire Survivors. Lots of cool power-ups and it's a rogue light auto battler and I've talked about this game before when I did a Steam video. It's on other platforms, but the Xbox Series X version is fantastic. And you're gonna find yourself really getting into this. It's, it's only $5, it's only a $5 game, but really, I, I'm gonna tell you, this is my favorite version to play. I keep coming back to it. Probably my favorite $5 game of the year. And I introduced this to my friend and he can't stop playing. Lots of different characters with different power-ups, and there's just so much to unlock. Many different stages. Uh, it just has that really addictive gameplay, and one that you can play in fairly small bursts. It's about eight hours to beat, and much longer if you want 100% it. It gets my thumbs up. If you're looking for a great family game, and one that offers nearly 100 hours of gameplay. Look no further than LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, covering all the main films. So many unlockable characters and secrets and upgrades. This has lots and lots of gameplay and replayability, uncovering secrets using different characters. So many awesome nods to Star Wars fans. I can't recommend this one enough. I, I have thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm a little overwhelmed with how much is in this, but this is a welcome addition to Game Pass, as this is a popular title, one of the most popular titles people are playing on Game Pass. And if you play it, you're gonna understand why. This is so much fun, and definitely one I recommend to play with your family or spouse. An A plus from me. This next game is a mature theme side-scrolling action platformer called Infernax. It's $20 to buy, but it's on Game Pass. And I uh, have to let you know, there is some things in here, this is probably not a kid-friendly game whatsoever, but if you're a fan and you grew up with like a game such as Castlevania 2, lots of nods to retro-themed games of yesteryear, and there's some moral dilemmas in this. It is a very violent game. And so uh, if you're looking for this type of gameplay, this is awesome. I definitely want to play this one more. It's about six to seven hours to beat and uh, lots of cool boss fights and things. There's branching paths, there's upgrades, uh, there's townsfolk, 
there's lots of different areas to explore. It is fairly challenging too, just to give you a heads up, uh, to play this one. Frequent saves, and one I think a lot of old school players are gonna love to appreciate and enjoy. This next one is a rogue light, and it's procedurally generated with some puzzle mechanics. Really enjoyed Loot River. You can buy this separately for $24.99, but again, it's another third party indie title that, you know, a lot of people probably not want to purchase separately. That's what makes Game Pass so special as it offers lots of these indie titles, especially on Xbox, where you can check them out all in one spot and decide for yourself whether or not you want to purchase it. Now, I did enjoy the puzzle mechanics. You move these blocks around to, to traverse in these dungeons as you're exploring and upgrading your character with lots of cool combat. Uh, I like this one, definitely worth checking out. And uh, for those that like roguelites, it's another very popular game to come out this last year was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. And this is an amazing follow-up side-scrolling brawler. And oh my gosh, so many playable characters up to six player at one time multiplayer mayhem on xbox holy cow this is awesome you can purchase this separately for $24.99 as it's one of my favorite follow-ups two games to come out this last year really like this one quite a bit great gameplay lots of awesome little nods to fans of turtles and look no further this is a great side scrolling beat em up to play with a friend not too long to beat I think it's about two and a half to three hours to beat the main story and a perfect fit for Xbox Game Pass. This is this along with Star Wars The Skywalker Saga are nice additions to games that people want to check out. Next one is an indie title. It is a co-op brawler along with a multiplayer mode, which I'm showing here. And this is Spider Heck. Lots of cool things, and essentially a spider, you can wield a saber, and other ways of taking out your enemies. Lots of fun, lots of achievements in this. Um, I'm not too good at playing it, just wanted to show it, but this is definitely an indie title, and one worth checking out on Game Pass. Uh, this is a game, this is a good example of a game that I probably wouldn't pick up individually, but because it's on Game Pass, willing to check it out. And I'm glad I did, because I just didn't know what to expect when I got into this. It definitely has some, you know, Smash Brothers Melee uh, aspects to it with that awesome multiplayer. Tons of fun here. Definitely worth checking out with a friend and buddy. And you are going to like this if you like these types of games. Definitely an indie title and definitely one I get a thumbs up for me. If you are looking for a scary adventure game, first person, and like the works of H.R. Geiger, you are going to like Scorn. This is a recent edition. Came out in October. I do believe it was supposed to come out earlier, but eventually came out on Game Pass. And wow, this one looks great. Uh, it definitely has a scary mood and it definitely sucks you in to the environment. And I enjoyed this one. Critics are going to say uh, some of the combat is cumbersome as well as sparse save points. About five hours to beat the main quest. But, you know, this is a perfect option for Game Pass. Maybe a game that you're not necessarily wanting to purchase, but check out. And I definitely recommend, if you're into these types of games, for sure this one is good. If you're looking for a newer 3D Metroidvania sty style of game, you may want to check out Recompile. It's got awesome power-ups, unique level design, great soundtrack, and I found this one to be pretty interesting. Definitely one I want to check out more. As you know, I, I love the level design in this game. And I haven't played a ton of it, but definitely kind of sucked me in with a cool concept. And this is one definitely well worth checking out. As you know, it's pretty unique with its uh, look and aspect. Really tight gameplay too. I found myself easy to move around the areas and uh, fairly difficult but well worth a look. Look no further than Recompile. Next up is Somerville, and this is a sci-fi adventure game. Really cool environment and graphics. I like the gameplay too. 
there's so many little details added to this. And being a family man myself, I really like kind of the cool premise of the story at the beginning. And, you know, this just got some really cool touches to this game. And one I definitely think is a great addition to Game Pass. You know, uh, there's so many areas to check out. And it definitely kind of you have to scratch your head, kind of solving some puzzles. But if you can stay with it, it's about four hours to beat. Uh, it's a great addition to Game Pass and one worth checking out. Look no further than Somerville. There are so many games on Game Pass. What do you recommend? What are some games maybe off the grid a little bit that people need to check out? Games that not necessarily the totally most popular games, but ones that you think people need to check out on the service. I've really enjoyed it and I think it is a great opportunity to check out games and if you like what you see consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as i'm making new content every week from atari to xbox a little bit of modern a little bit of retro and a whole lot of fun thank you so much you folks are wonderful and beautiful let's keep it positive this is the immortal john hancock and you have a good day